Okay, so let's get some history out of the way, okay? So, William Wegman was born December 2nd, 1943 in Holyoke, Massachusetts, United States. Um, his genre is portraits, and uh, that's all we have right now. <coughs> Done, that's a wrap, that was great. <laughs> Gonna be that black. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to write about the history of William Wegman. Watch this. Watch this. You're gonna get school today. Watch this. <sighs> Oh! <laughs> oh man, feels great. Okay, so you see, we're all doing this. It's not just Leo. <laughs> bet, bet. Works, okay? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Let me hold you. It's like a fucking demon. <laughs> originally wanted to pursue a career as a painter. Uh, he received a bachelor of... You gotta do this better. He received a bachelor's uh, degree in fine arts and painting from Massachusetts College in 1965. He received a bachelor of fine arts and painting from from Massachusetts College in 1965. And a Master of Fine Arts in 1967 while teaching the California State University uh, on Long Beach. And a Master of Fine Arts in 1967. Uh, while teaching at California State University, Long Beach, uh, he acquired the photograph of a Weimar named Man Ray. Weimar? <laughs> Um, Man Ray, known in the art world and beyond for his endearing deadpan presence, Stop. became a central figure in Wyman's photographs and videotapes. In 1982, Man Ray died. Oh, oh my god, he knows. But, but in 1986, uh, Wyman got a new dog, Fay Ray. And another collaboration began marked by Wegman's extensive use of Polaroid 20x24 camera. <clears throat> Wegman then worked on Dog Duet, which was one of his shorts, one of his first shorts. <clears throat> Wegman also wrote numerous children's books, including the New York Times bestseller, Puppies. <laughs> okay, that's the history. Thank you. Hey guys, we're gonna prank our friend Max in there with a taser. Alright, come on, let's go. Be quiet. Shh. Hey Max. No. some of the pictures 
that this photographer has taken um, that are quite popular. One of my personal favorites, Stormy Nights. It was uh, taken in 1972 and has a nice little panelized uh, uh, thing, texture. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like this one. I really like this one. Um, next one, Red Toy. It has a Weimaraner dressed up in, like, um, paper. And <laughs> I could do it myself. Like, honestly, it's terrible, but, I mean, you gotta criticize his work too, right? So, one of them is Basic Shapes and Color. Back in 93, when he took this picture, it was a big deal, you know? And, um, it's pretty cool. It's basically a Weimaraner laying down with shapes on it. And, um, really like it because there's lots of color. Um, might as well knock uh, two birds with one stone with this one. Uh, he was inspired um, by his own Weimaraner named Man Ray, and that's why he does what he does. That's all I have. This is all we have right now, too. <laughs> what motivated you to choose this artist? Um, our camera guy, Skyler, actually motivated us to pick this artist in the first place, so that's, uh, that's good. Skip. Uh, what left an impression on you the most about this artist after learning more about him or her? Um, I just love the use of dogs. It really uh, made an impression on me. What about those dogs? Uh, the way they wore clothes and stuff, that was real cool. What work or works do you like the most? Why? Uh, I like, um, the one with the, the dogs with blocks on his feet. Cause that, What's it called? <laughs> I don't know. Stormy Night, I know, I know. <laughs> Stormy Night, I like Stormy Night because of the panels and it's really 70s, you know. Um... Really vintage. How, or, yeah, how can you use something from this artist in your own work? Um... I'm gonna take pictures of my dog and like put clothes on him and stuff. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I think it's time we wrapped it up. Um, leave us with a conclusion, you know, to the scientific exploration you began with. Be sure to go back to the I, oh my God, and answer it if you could not explain why. What did you find out? Okay, I'll tell you that. We found out that um, William Wagner is not really a good artist. <laughs> it's not Wagner, it's <laughs> no, Wagner. No, no, just keep going. Just keep going and keep rolling. <laughs> um, he's, he's pretty cool. I know. Uh, fuck. Just mess it up. Whatever. Yeah, let's do it all over. Cut, no, no, no. Keep going. Keep yeah. going. Fine. We'll cut it. All right. Um, um, we found out that he uses lots of dogs, lots of color, and it's kind of interesting. And I guess we just prepare ourselves for much applause. Thank you for watching our PowerPoint. <laughs> Wait, you gotta answer the question though. Well, what the question? Questions? What question? Alright, I'll tell you. All what right? question? What question? Calm down. We'll, cl we'll clip it, because I love what I just did. I okay. love it. The questions were... Why did William Wegman take pictures of dogs? And how he got personal pictures of them. Um, so I answer that. He got, how did he get personal pictures of them? Of the dogs, yeah. I'm guessing, like, he asked the owners for their dogs so he can, like, take pictures well, of them. Well, he owns some of the dogs. I mean, I know that. We actually found that out by researching it. So, and he owns some of the Just dogs. Just state he loved his dog Man Ray, right? He loves his dog, and that's why he takes pictures of his dog. Same and for how did he? The steps. How is he able to take pictures of? Like, how is he able to take pictures? I mean, like, how is he? How is he, how is he, he able to get like personal pictures of the, of the dogs? Like, oh my God! Like, he just he gets out his camera and takes pictures. Okay, I mean, he like he puts a tennis ball somewhere so the dog acts like he's interested in that. No, wait, hold on. Skip that. Cut that. He takes pictures of the dogs. Uh, I'm done. Just, I'm done, okay? I'm Don't done forget to flush it. the toilet.
I walk a lonely road It's the only one that I have ever known I don't know where it goes But it's home to me and I walk alone I walk this empty street On the boulevard of broken dreams Where the city sleeps And I'm the only one 